is going to be on how to connect with your spirit guides slash angels. So a lot of people have been asking me how can they connect with their spirit guides and angels because you know it's a great connection to have. You know who doesn't want to be connected to their spirit guides and be able to talk to them and be able to feel them and hear them. Typically it's different for everybody. You know not everybody can just jump and start speaking to an angel right away because. A lot of times, you know, you have to have your chakras healed, your third eye open, you need to be aligned in some sort of way so that you can actually open communication to spirit. Well, for those who are watching this that have never spoken to their spirit guides or angels and want to learn how to, I'm going to tell you that the first step is being sure within yourself and being careful with everything that you do. Be sure that you're talking to your spirit guides or angels by asking for protection first. I always say to ask for protection before you speak to any kind of any spirit, anything, because you never know who you're talking to. You know, you could be thinking that you're talking to your angel, you could be thinking you're talking to your aunt who passed away. You don't know if you really are. It could be very tricky. I recommend asking for white light being like okay god please protect me with the white light as i speak to the spirit please ensure that the spirit i'm talking to is the spirit that i want to talk to and that will ensure that that spirit is the correct spirit because the white light protects people who are trying to speak to other entities basically and then after that you can start asking for signs just be like you know you're here please give me a sign people will get signs like that's the one thing that i always tell people and then you'll be surprised you're gonna see angel numbers coins feathers, birds, your favorite animals, like a lot. I mean, carrying messages, for example, you're driving by and you see on a billboard, somebody loves you. On a license plate, you see, you know, something on the tag. It's just like a whole bunch of signs like you're gonna know. And things that remind you of angels, such as looking up into the sky and you see clouds that look like angel wings. That is another indicator that angels are all around you. They're giving you signs. You typically can feel it. You know, it doesn't just have to be this, but it's whatever you feel that you're just like, oh my God, like that was such a sign. Even if somebody else doesn't understand, you know, no one can tell you what a sign is or isn't. Like it's your sign, you know? Your angels only want to help and protect you. They come in all kinds of ways, but you're going to know it's your angel because of the way that you feel. People that know it's not their angels, they feel fear, they feel scared. They're like, what's going on? If it's your angel, you're going to feel really good communicating with them. You're going to know the difference. Believe me when I say that. People will say that they know about angel numbers, but they do not see any. Typically, if you do not see angel numbers right away, it just means that you're not meant to see them yet, if that makes sense. Like, they're waiting for a perfect time to give you the message that you're needed to hear at that time. Because sometimes people don't need messages right, right this second, and then tomorrow you might need them. Like you never know so give it time it will show up if you know about them and you want to see more and you want to know more and you want to be guided in the right direction they will show you your angel numbers because those are what's needed for you to grow i also recommend praying every single night pray every night pray every morning ask them to protect you actively to drop signs in general feel comfort as time goes on like i said before you're going to be able to build that connection with the spirit where you're going to be able to talk to them like literally talk to them. Ask for signs first, right? So that's gonna start building a connection because in general, your angels do want to help you, but you need to reach out first. You know, they're always around you, but you can't expect them to just give you what you want without asking for it. Because in this life, if you want things, you need to ask for them. Once you've gotten past this point where you feel like you're able to talk to your spirit guides now, you really want to attempt to. Meditation in general, it gets you into a state of mind where you're able to speak to entities where you can feel yourself in a different state. For some people it might be harder because meditation, especially if you don't really talk to spirits, is you know kind of a task it's kind of like a hard thing to do because you're not used to being able to meditate shutting your eyes envisioning you know things like that which is completely normal i understand that but the key here is to be able to get into the state of which you're able to do so so that you can properly hear your angels meditation is where you're able to connect to your higher self to god to other angels to your spirit guides a lot easier because it's opening that plane where communication is possible basically so you're going transitioning into the 5d so typically when you meditate keep in mind that you're supposed to maintain or remain in a meditative state of mind you know it can be very difficult because i know when i first started meditating i would hear like crazy things in my ear like i would just be thinking about all kinds of things which is completely normal because you're probably not used to it yet but the key here is to get into a point where you're focusing on your intention like you really want to talk to your angels your spirit guides 
focus focus on that try to block out anything that you hear do not let it enter because it's your choice to block out what you hear or to keep listening to it so if you're hearing like oh i want cheese oh my god what, what should i do tomorrow like block it out because you can you have the power to do that so do it if you're really having trouble and you really can't stop thinking about whatever you're thinking about i highly recommend doing guided meditations where a person is literally telling you what to envision where to go all these things and it helps a lot more because you're not thinking like you're just listening to the voice and then you're following it that's what i did it was really helpful so i recommend that and then once you're in that meditative state, you're going to ask God to please present to you your angel. Ask God to reveal your angel to you. So you want to see your guardian angel and just be like, God, please show me who my angel is. And then you're probably going to see colors. That's like the number one thing. You're probably going to see like a big form of pink, a big form of blue, a big form of purple, of yellow, orange, light red, whatever it is, like a nice color that you feel comfort from. These colors are the colors of your spirit guides, especially if you're asking God to present to you the angels that you want to see. That color is literally your angel, is your spirit guide. A lot of times people say that they're able to see their spirit guides, but they're not able to talk to them yet, like physically talk to them, which is completely normal as well. Sometimes it does, like I said before, it does take time for you to build the connection so that you're able to do so. You know, it doesn't just jump right away to that point. In this case, if if all you see for the first time is a blob of light, don't be too hard on yourself and don't say like, oh, it, this didn't work. Give it time. Try it again, like the next day, the day after that. Let your spirit guides know that you love and care for them so that they know that you appreciate them. Because in this case, they appreciate appreciation. Like they like to know that you care, that you're thankful, that you appreciate them because this will make them want to help you even more. That makes sense. You now they're always willing to help you. But of course, if someone, somebody's telling their spirits to F off or their angels to F off, like they're gonna leave you alone. Trust me, they will. You get what you ask for. So just be ready for that. This is basically like the rundown of how to speak to your spirit guides. The only thing that I would say is to not give up on it. Don't think that it's not gonna happen for you because it didn't happen yet. It will happen, trust me. You just have to give it time first before you know you quit it on it and you're like, F this, it's not real. I wanted to add that if you find yourself not being able to connect with yourself even to a point where you just know that communication with spirits is not gonna happen because you can't even communicate with yourself properly, I highly recommend doing chakra meditations doing chakra cleansing, doing chakra healing because a lot of times the communication with spirits comes from the chakras so if your chakras are aligned you're going to be able to do a lot of things spiritually the ways that you can do this is by going on YouTube looking up guided meditations for heart chakra for throat chakra, all the chakras that you need the ones that are most effective with communicating with spirits is the crown chakra and the third eye chakra so those I recommend cleansing a lot with third eye chakra like be prepared for some crazy changes because third eye chakras signify eye opener of the whole soul so you're going to be able to see spirits you're going to be able to see like all kinds of auras orbs everything so i just want you to be ready for that in case you're thinking about doing that sometimes third eye chakras open at a young age you know it really depends and then they close back up it just depends on how you're taking care of yourself and your soul so that's another good <laughs> good point that I wanted to let you know about. All right, thank you guys so much for checking this video out. Please like, subscribe, and share if you liked it. You can follow my Instagram, electrosoul444, and then my spiritual store is electrosoul.co. I sell angel number jewelry, the shirt that I made, angels, literally, angel everything. <laughs> but yeah, check it out. And then my TikTok is electronavy, so you show also go check that out thank you guys so much for 50k on tiktok like oh my gosh like i'm so happy i literally can't even believe it i i know i always say this but like i can't like thank you so much you don't know what it means to me to be able to share the knowledge that i know for others to help people like that's it like that's the purpose another video coming out next sunday 